Hello, welcome once again to a Gaz Labs teeny tiny video. Right, today I've got something a bit interesting. One of the things that uh, I'm asked constantly, and I've, I've said before, is I don't have a very large garden and I want to be able to work on 40 metres. What can I use? Or I've got a balcony and I, I've, you know, and I, I want to get on 40 metres or 80 metres even. What can I use? Well, the answer is actually is quite incredibly simple it may not be the best thing that you've ever done um, and it might not be perfect but it will be small now over here now i ventured out today to screw fix and this has cost me a whole um well uh six pounds fifty now i've got some wire which i've had laying around i've got some just standard old uh, house uh, uh, um, wiring type wire, which would work. Um, it's not going to be the easiest thing to work with. You've got to strip it all out and make sure you've got all the loose bits. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, this is 20 mil electrical conduit. Um, I also bought some 25 mil electrical conduit. Now I'm going to split this up into a couple of pieces because this is going to take a little while to actually do. Now, what this is going to be is it's going to be a square antenna that's going to be about, um, give or take, 1,200 mil, so 1,200 mil um, square. And it's going to have a little bit of capacitance, um, which I've got to make, and I'm going to look at that now. So if we just come down here. Now here, what you can see is I'm actually making a capacitor. Now, let me show you this if I can. This is a little bit delicate, but... What I've taken, if I can just get it in the in the focus for you, is I've taken a piece of 20 mil um, conduit and a piece of 25 mil conduit. I've then taken some some of this Velcro type tape, actually put it around there to make a sort of like a nylon type bearing, and then I've stuck the slug tape on the actual one surface. And I've stuck slug tape on the other surface. They create the two um, parts of the capacitor. When this is, when you rotate this, okay, at that point it's about 5.4 uh, picofarad. When you rotate it back the other way, and they're fully engaged, that's about 21 picofarad. So that's going to be enough, I think, to help tune this. Now, there is another way of doing it. You can actually do like a, what they call something like a crummy capacitor. And that's where if you haven't got any of this sort of facility, what you can do is take two pieces of wire and actually twist them together. And the more twists, the more sort of capacitance that makes. It's not an ideal, but it's, um, yeah, it, does, it will work, especially for sort of something like this. So going forward... I'll just do a little test for you as well. Um, if you don't have one of these type of meters, this is um, this is the LCR um, 40 meter. Um, this basically does uh, measures inductance, capacitance, and resistance. Um, so it's a useful little meter. Now I've had this for a very long time, um, and it's sort of seen a bit of abuse over the years. So, um, and it probably needs calibrating now, but it's good enough for what we want. And I'm just going to hook that on there. I've turned up two little dog ears on the uh, on the tape just so I can get in there and measure it. Now, before it all snaps off, let's do a quick measure. Now, that's fully engaged. Okay, so there you go. Analyzing. Come on. Uh, 2.8. Oh, something's come off. It's not right. Yeah, it's not quite on there. Bear with. Let's do that again. And so I just measured it a minute ago. It's about 21 picofarad. Oh, it's a real devil. So there you go. See, this is what you're up against. Sometimes it just takes a little bit of doing. Let's trip it that way. I'll give up in a minute. There you go. Right, quick, before it goes. I don't want to touch it because obviously that will affect the test. Yeah, there you go. 
I mean, you can see that. It's 21.1 picofarad. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'll show you the uh, the antenna in just a second. I think I have it on the uh, desktop somewhere. Um, this essentially is um, they do they're, they're different flavors of this, by the way. Um, you can um, let me get uh, let me get that back on there. Sorry, just I'm mucking this up. Right there you go. Right, there's two different flavors of this antenna. Um, well, there's actually three. You can actually get up to basically top band, 80 meters, 40 meters, 20 meters, and that each of the each time that the loops coming down and down and down, and they get down to the point where they're actually really really small. Now I'm going to show you the loop if I can, if I can get it on the AOC for you. Sorry about that. Get rid of that. Right now this is the um, the actual loop. Let's get it over there so I can see what I'm looking at. Come on. No, you want to right there you go i oh, know it's working so this is the actual um loop itself um and you can see how big it is now the one on this is an 80 meter one okay now i didn't do this one i would have done it unfortunately the tubing i've got and it was a real trauma to go down and um basically get the um the the, the tubing today because obviously i had to stand in line with um you know all sorts of uh, things going on um and um yeah so it wasn't it wasn't a, a pleasurable experience but anyway nonetheless um screw fix were very good and uh, it was uh, it was dealt with quite quickly got the stuff and uh, got out of there um and i had to cut it in half to get it in my car now what i could do with i did the trig on this and it's basically it's about 2200 um, mil um sort of diagonal to get this and i just didn't have enough tube and i wasn't going to go back to get another length just to do it so what i did was um i've got the the dimensions and stuff for the um for the uh, 40 meter version which i'm i'm actually going to build now to do this obviously there's my my tube i'm going to cross the, the pieces over in the middle i'm going to be using these um these little things and what i'm going to do is i'm kind of going to do that and I'm going to just put a rivet in the middle, okay, and that was should then give me the the little cross I need, and then what I'll do is I've got behind me you can see I've got my if you can see that yeah, drill press, um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill each of the the, the little um, the PVC legs, and then I'll start threading it up tomorrow, and um, so I'm going to be busily marking these out this evening. Um, so yeah that should be that should be a bit of fun i'm going to call that one it for now this is going to be part one um so you can see what i've done with that um that's uh that's given me enough uh enough uh, capacitance i think to make this work um obviously anything like this please do not have this in the same room as you um when you're when you're transmitting um number one <laughs> number two when if you're tuning this up do not transmit and touch this um it will hurt um and uh, um yeah basically stay safe if you're going to be making this you're going to be using lots of sharp things and stuff um if you're not used to using knives please don't um you know drills can snap um all that sort of stuff um don't wear gloves when drilling um that's, that's kind of uh, a bit hazardous um and you know if you don't have um a drill or anything like that or you, you can actually if you want to use cable ties and you can cable tie the the cable in the spiral to the top so you don't have to drill any holes if you don't want to i'm going to drill holes because i want this to be fairly sort of like a a permanent type of thing i, I don't want it to fall apart um at the end of all this um what i might do is I might give it away when it's done if it works um, and you know it's and it's a, it's a it works it, it's a it's a good one then what I'll do is if you're if someone wants it um, and they want to pick it up um, then then by all means I, I will let them have it um, it's quite an interesting little little project so there you go do subscribe 
um, if you want to see part two, because uh, part two stands to be quite quite fun, I think. Um, and part three will be the testing, see whether it works. Um, I don't know how well it'll work. Might work. Who knows? Just for fun. See you soon.